Hi guys, in this quick and simple tutorial for beginners, we're going to learn how to model shelves. So let's get straight into it. Open up Blender 2.8 and what we're going to do is we don't really need the camera or the lamp. So go ahead and right click and shift right click both of them, hit X and delete to remove them from our scene. We're only going to need to use the cube. So that's pretty much going to be quite easy for us to work with. So next what we want to do is we want to tap into edit mode and then go ahead and change to face select mode. So just click on that one there, right click the bottom face over there and then hit G Z and then hit the control key on your keyboard and move it until it is in line with this red line over here. So it's now on the world center. So we've, we've essentially halved the height of our box. Uh, from the top, just uh, select all the vertices by hitting A on your keyboard and then go to side view by hitting the three key on your numpad and then hit SY.5 so that we sort of halve the, um, the, uh, the depth of our shelf. So cool, so we now have the sort of the basis for our shelf. Now the way we want to model it is going to be a sort of non-destructive style so you can go ahead and mix and match and play with different styles of shelves so that you can modify it quite easily depending on what type of scene you want to go for. So with that done, go to the front view by hitting one on your numpad and right click to select the front face like so. Then simply go ahead and hit X, delete face. So we now have the basis for our shelf. Cool. So tap out of edit mode and make sure you're in object mode now. And then what you want to do is go into the modifiers panel, go ahead and add modifier and select solidify. So what this will do is it will make your uh, shelf have a bit of thickness. So what you want to do is you want to slide this up to make the shelf have the sort of thickness that you want to have for your shelf. Maybe something like that is looking good. Alright, uh, once you've done that, we're going to go ahead and finally start to build up the height of our shelf. So go ahead and add a modifier and add an array modifier. Uh, we don't want our modifier to go sideways. I mean, you could if you want to. You just keep increasing the count. And then you have this sort of uh, sideways type of shelf. Uh, for example, if you're creating like a, say, uh, an LED TV stand or something like that, then your job is pretty much done. But uh, yeah, that can be one style of shelf. In fact, actually, I like that style. I can just go ahead and go Shift D to duplicate and move it uh, maybe away from our scene. Because that's one, one shelf idea. But uh, for this shelf, I want to go upwards. So let's change this relative offset. This is the X, the Y, and the Z, by the way. So change this uh, X part to be 0. And instead, we want to make it go upwards. So change the Z part to 1. And it's increased uh, by 2 because we have the count set up to uh, 3 over here. So now what we need to do is just uh, keep pushing it up until you get your shelf to the sort of the height that you want your shelf to be. So maybe something like that is good enough. So that's it. That is pretty much how you model a shelf. Um, I want to go ahead now and just quickly UV unwrap this. So the UV unwrapping of this is generally quite, really, really quite simple. Uh, all you need to do is just go to the edge select, select each of these four edges over here. And that's it. Just go ahead and hit Control E, mark scene, and then go into the UV editing tab of Blender. Select all vertices, and uh, it's actually done for us. But anyways, I'll just go U, unwrap. Let's go R and 90, and that's good enough. And cool. Let's just quickly add in a quick basic shader to it. So I'm just going to use the same shader, uh, sorry, the same materials that I use for from the uh, dining table and the chair videos. So if you haven't seen those videos, go ahead and check it out. I'll also pr provide the link in the description below to those textures. So let's drop in the albedo, the roughness, and the normal. I want to plug the color into the base color, uh, the roughness into the roughness, and the normal into another node. Shift A, uh, vector normal map plug the color into that color and the normal into that normal and then change this to non-color data. Okay, so we have the basis of our shelf. UV wrapping is looking a little weird, but doesn't matter, we can fix that later on. 
just want to show you the different styles of makeup. It's also looking too, uh, too, too shiny, too wet. So I'm going to use a converter color ramp to control the amount of shine that I want coming through. So let's move the white down. Let's black up a little bit. That's making it look too wet, actually. Let's keep it down. Something around about there. Okay, the shelf is looking a little bit too dark, so I might brighten it up a bit. This uh, this this part you don't have to do. I'm just doing it just so that it just to add a little bit more interest. Okay, adding a little bit of a hue. Point five five. Uh, turn up the value. I don't know something like that. Point four five. Something like that. No, let's like that. Okay, and then just to, uh, I want to turn up the. We've got a UV editor. I want to scale this by say three, so that it looks more realistic. Okay, so that's one. Let's go back to the modeling again, and let's just change this to the look dev mode. Okay, so that's one type of shelf. So if I go Shift D to duplicate the shelf again, oops, let's move this one. I can go ahead and modify the shelf. So maybe I might say I want this shelf to be a little bit smaller. So I can go ahead and do maybe like a shelf that like that. Maybe I want to have it wider as well. So I can easily create that. Maybe I want another shelf to be a lot more thinner, but I want it to be a lot more taller. We can easily do that as well. Uh, maybe I want to have another shelf over here uh, without a back face so maybe like a special feature kind of a shelf where you would put it like in your uh, living room or, or your uh, the entrance to your house or something so something like that and maybe make it a little less sh tall and maybe a little bit more thinner as well so just turn down the solidify something like that and obviously you change the materials as well so you maybe you have something that looks like that. So you can see very, very quickly in a sort of non-destructive and a quick way of modeling, I've created a variety of different uh, different looking shelves. So that's pretty much it. That's the basics of how to model and uh, shade shelves in Blender. So of course, once you've done that, it doesn't look good. It looks a little awkward. Uh, what you want to do is you need to apply the modifier. You generally apply the modifier as a last step uh, to anything. So once you're actually happy with these models, that's when you start to apply the modifier. Because once you apply the modifier, it becomes a destructive model again. That means if any changes you make to the model will be final. Whereas now it's not destructive. You can easily change things and swap, swap things at the click of a button. So let's go ahead and save my work just in case. Okay, so now if I want to go ahead and fix up these textures, all I have to do is go ahead and apply these modifiers. Then uh, I'll go ahead and you know, do a, a more proper UV unwrap. So for instance, I might go ahead and select uh, all these faces over here, or maybe not. Uh, yeah, all those faces over there, but not these back faces because I'm happy with them. And go U project from view. Uh, okay, and then go to UV editing. Maybe we'll change this uh, view over here so that we have a look dev as well. Uh, scale this up, R90. Okay, so that's looking better. I'll also, we will also fix up this side as well. So what I'll do is maybe from the side view, select these ones, and from the side view, just go U, project from view, scale them up. So that they look generally quite correct. Uh, the back is not so important. You generally never see it, but if you want, you can fix that up as well. U, project from view and then scale it up quite a bit and the rest is okay so that's it that is the basics of modeling and rendering shells in blender 2.8 i hope this video has been useful and please like share and subscribe to my channel if you want to see more videos like this thanks for watching